Hello, welcome to Tile Coach. I'm Isaac Ostrom, and today I'm in a house, and it was a flip house. And if you know what a flip house is, it's usually when a real estate or an investor buys a property that usually is kind of run down or dated, and they do a really quick remodel job on bathrooms and kitchens a lot of the times, and then they put it on the market for a higher price. It's all about bottom line. They see how much money they can make, there's TV shows on like home and garden TV and everything. But anyways, this is a flip job. This is a flip bathroom. And the homeowner, after he bought the house, about six months into living here, he noticed a leak coming through the ceiling. And so had his house only a few months and already noticed a leak coming down through the ceiling. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. Um, but right off the bat, I notice a lot of stuff that's, you know, to me, it's red flags. Okay, so on this wall of the shower, right off the bat, I could tell that there was some pretty bad lippage right here. Now, lippage is the term that we use when one tile is hanging out or pushed in from the adjacent tile. So we call that lippage. Tiles pushed in or pulled out. Pretty bad lippage, almost 3 16 of an inch. I put some shims in there and, and yeah, you know, pushing 3 16 of an inch on a lippage is really bad. The niche here was done and there's some little hexagon sheet mosaic tiles in here. Same thing, I was checking it out and I looked up underneath and there's still some grout that's uh, never got cleaned off of the tiles. They completely missed one of the grout joints here on the underneath on the front edge. And so I could just tell that this was overall a poorly done tile job. This is not about, you know, caulk something and it's going to be fixed. Usually when we see work like this, and if, if you've seen my other videos, you'll notice that usually when there's really bad cosmetic things, that means the waterproofing wasn't done well either. So I took the glass panels out. Uh, this had a pretty nice glass enclosure. I mean, it was a frameless glass, 3 8 clear glass. This was probably like a $2,500 or $3,000. Well, yeah, I would say more like at least a $3,000 glass enclosure that was on here. And the homeowner asked if I could save it. Unfortunately, we couldn't save it because the walls are so out of plumb and out of whack when we build our new tile work, it's gonna be plumb and flat. And so the glass is cut out of square, we wouldn't be able to use it. And the glass, because it was cut so bad, there was some really big caulking joints and stuff in it. So it's really a shame. If this was a nice plumb flat wall, I could have reused those glass pieces because the panels came out pretty easily. I just cut all the caulking, took the clips off, and was able to get these glass panels out by myself, but um, we're just gonna end up throwing them away because they're cut out of square. The curb is, is really out of level and just, just doesn't look good. Some really big grout joints, like I could, I could take my finger and hold it up against the grout joint that's in between the curb and the tile below it. And so, yeah, I have a, you know, probably about three eighths, almost half an inch of grout that's in there. So I'm gonna start by taking the curb off and then taking some tiles off around. The homeowner really wants to see where the leak is coming from. So let's tear this out. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this curb so we can see what's underneath it. And before I get going, if you guys are looking for help on your tile projects, we just started a new forum on tilecoach.com. If you know what advice forums are, if you're familiar with them, then you know what it is. It's a place where you can go, you can ask questions, and all of the people that are in the forum, it's like a big community. And what's really cool, it's like our own tile coach community. So if you're interested in getting advice on your tile project, so you can go to that link after this video and check that out, uh, become a member. There's also gonna be some more perks with that. I'm gonna be doing some monthly giveaways and maybe some exclusive live streams so that we can get in touch. It's gonna to be one awesome Tile Coach community over there. So make sure to sign up. So, uh, but yeah, here we go. I'm gonna pop off this curb. Uh, it's coming up really easy. 
and yeah, they got this. Let me see. So that's the curb. You can see it was kind of dot set, not full coverage, but they just used thin set to build that up. And there's the holes for the, the anchors and the shower door. You know, it's funny, we go through all this trouble to, oh, there it is, we go through all this trouble to waterproof um, a curb, and then the shower door guys send two and a half inch screws right through it. So let's see what else we got here. Okay. Yeah, the tiles are coming off real easy here. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. There's hardly hardly any coverage on here. To take a look at this. The, the only spot there was coverage on was like right there and right there. Yeah, there was not even any coverage. There was like maybe 10% at the very most. But what's interesting is this is still, you can tell there's been moisture on this. This is still kind of wet. You see that line of moisture on there. Uh, this is dry here and that's wet. So there's been a ton of water getting in here somehow. I don't know what this is. This is like, oh, that'll be interesting. Let's see what that is. It looks like some kind of window flashing or bitchethane. Yeah, more dollops. It's like a, we call these cookies when people just put a dot of mortar and um, you know in a wet area this is supposed to be 95 percent coverage and they did uh, some cookie cookie setting here. So that's the outside of the curb. Let's check out what's going on on the inside here. See there's this crack. I don't know if you can see it. See this big crack in the, the thin set? I'm interested to see what that's all about. Okay, so I got my air scrubber humming here. Hope that's not too distracting. We got it blowing out. Uh, we got a window. I'll just go ahead and show you our set. Um, so I opened that window so that any draft that comes in is coming in here. And then here's our intake. I'll put it over there by where I'm working. And then my exhaust is right here. So it's creating a negative airflow coming through the doorway and sucking up right here. That helps to keep all the dust contained. Anyways, that's what that humming is going on. Oh boy, yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. Where have I seen this before? Oh yeah, I have a video on someone who used window flashing as their waterproofing. That one didn't work out too well either. But yeah, here you go. So, Mr. House Flipper Tile Guy made a curb out of uh, window flashing, uh, bitchy thing, whatever you want to call it. So that is not how you're supposed to build a curb. Let's tear into it a little bit more here. And look, look how thick. That's all thin set. That's crazy. So that's that's the anchor for the shower door that they drilled right through here. And then, there's their window flashing, and they drilled right through that. I don't know if that's the issue. It's probably, probably a lot more than that. But yeah, that's an example of the shower door guy 
drilling right through the waterproofing. All right, so there's a good look at the curb. Here's the other shower door anchor right there. That was an anchor. And then it's just all wrapped in window flashing and then thin setted straight to it. It's crazy that people think that that would work. So I'll take uh, this side of the curb off and let's see what's under there. Probably the same thing as that. Okay, so found something else here. Uh, besides, uh, besides Mr. Bug, bugs like to live um, in places with dry rot like that. But um, what I'm seeing here now, we got a couple things it looks like. So this is the old hot mop. This is the original hot mop. And so it looks like they tried to go over the original hot mop with see what is this anyone recognize that is that aqua defense is that my pay aqua defense is it an aqua green color so it looks like they did the old hot mop they probably did the tore out the old original shower that was in here and presumably leaking and then they went over it with aqua defense because yeah there's there's all the aqua defense and then they used window flashing on top of that so what a trip so yeah I'm gonna get this whole curb off but yeah there's another example look at that just a gaping big old hole where the shower door guy anchored into it. You guys have had experience with that because it always seems to be a point of contention because the shower door guys want to anchor into something solid and the tile guys are like no 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 I got all this waterproof and you can't just drill through it and sometimes the shower door guy says well I won't do it unless I can drill through it so if you guys have any experience with that uh, share it with us let us know what you think. Um, do you have any fixes? What we end up doing is we end up cutting our screws shorter so they don't go through our membrane. But let me know if you have any tips or tricks on that. So yeah, there you, now you can really see the hot mop. Look how thick they got some of this aqua defense. It is like, it's like a quarter inch thick. It's crazy. They just caked it on there. Okay, I did a little vacuuming here. And check this out. So, took the top of the curb off. And this is the, look at that. I can stick my whole finger in there. Those are gaps. So the top of the curb was sitting on here and it gets smaller and then they built it way out right here. But yeah, isn't that crazy? Again, that's supposed to be 95% coverage. That don't look like 95%, does it? I'll just come tiles just come right out. Okay, so I noticed as I was vacuuming up that the wood, you guys probably can't see it, but the wood, the plywood down here is, is wet. And this is about where that ceiling is, I believe. So I think that our problem is gonna be somewhere in here because there's no good way to lap this window flashing and it's just so weird that like, so here was the original hot mop, which again, he tried to go over it with aqua defense to, 
brighten this up. Tried to go over with aqua defense, but yeah, that's raw wood right there. That's just raw wood. And he stuck his tiles right to it. Here's more of the aqua defense. So yeah, here's the pan material. I use this hex on the pan. And so yeah, here, this is what I was getting at. Check this out. So we got like, like we got hot mop ending. So hot mop here. And then he decided, oh, screw it. The hot mop is in too bad a shape. So he probably took it out, but check this out. There's no, no good seal there, right? Cause it just had window flashing butting up to the hot mop. And it looks like he did, uh, yeah, he did some aqua defense right on the two by four. And that two by four is all wet, of course, because it's not waterproofed. Raw two by four, painted some aqua defense on it, put window flashing over it, did aqua defense over the old beat up hot mop. I think our leak is going to be over there because all the, all the plywood on the perimeter looks dry over here looks dry, but over here it's, it's all damp in there. So I'm thinking he wasn't able to wrap this very well. So yeah, there you go. Thin set stuck. I guess you could call it stuck right to plywood. I'm sorry, not plywood. That looks like a four by six, actually, dimensional lumber. So yeah, thin setted right to wood, and everybody knows you're not supposed to do that. Okay, so let's see if I'm right about uh, this being the place that it leaked. to no man's land right here. It just goes straight down. And so yeah, and then his, his window flashing stops right there. And then he put aqua defense on Hardy Backer. All right, so yeah, so here's the old mortar bed. And there's the hot mop right there. Brighten it up a little. There's the hot mop right there. And then here's the window flashing and everything was just down in here, the wood is all damp. It's just damp down in there. It's just damp. And so that's, yeah, this window flashing was like that. And then it just, you know, it's not how it's supposed to go. You know, I can't help but think that maybe this guy had watched other YouTube videos that showed using topical membranes as kind of a fix-all. You know, you, I hear that term so many times. Then I go over everything with Red Guard or Aqua Defense, and it's like, that's not how it's designed to be used. If you have a traditional weep style drain, they're not supposed to have Red Guard on top. They're not supposed to use, be used in conjunction. One is a water in, water out system, and one is a sealed system. So unfortunately, there are some YouTube videos out there that encourage using liquid membranes over a pan liner type installation. And, you know, I see a lot of this stuff where they're mixing the two different systems. You know, liquid applied membrane is not a fix all. These systems have to be designed and installed correctly or you end up with failures like this and water leaking through your ceiling and, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars in damage. So go to tilecoach.com, sign up for the team membership, become a team member. YouTube comments are really hard for me to get to an answer because I don't know if the person's still there or not, if they have their notifications on. A lot of times I just feel like I'm talking to nobody. But in this forum, we'll be able to communicate 
and it'll just be more of a community. So go to tilecoach.com. Again, I'll put the card up, sign up for the team membership, and I can't wait to see you over there. And before I go, I love you. I love being your tile coach, and we'll see you on the next video.